welcome back. Today I am trying my hand at a palette bingo, but because I like to do things differently, I thought I'd switch it up a bit and take all the guesswork out of it. And I'm basically going to do random number generator to choose everything. Not just the shade, but the number that I choose is also going to be, I labeled it, where did I put it? I know it in my head. First color will be my transition, second color will be my crease, third color will be my lid, fourth color will be my lower, lower lash line, and the fifth color will be my inner corner. So that is how I'm going to do it, taking all the guesswork and creativity completely out of it. So I may end up looking like a clown afterwards. We shall see. I also did random number generator to choose my palettes. Okay, so I currently have my numbers in my palettes going up to 105. I don't have that many anymore because I decluttered a bunch. Um, so we will just put it at 105 and if I've decluttered something, then I will move on to a different palette. So let's see, 105, number 47. The palette that was chosen was the 35C. This is a palette that I purchased from eBay. I don't think it's long, <laughs> I don't think this is available any longer. This is what it looks like. It's a 35 pan palette. When I used this not long ago, about a month or so ago, um, it reminded me very much of the Great Gatsby palette that is out now. It just has that green in there. It has some of the golds and not completely a dupe for it, but it definitely has a lot of those shades. So um, it made me not want to run out and pick up that palette, even though the packaging on that is just beautiful. But this is the palette we will be using today. So again, Number one will be my transition. Number two will be my crease. Number three will be my lid. Number four will be my lower lash line. And number five will be my inner corner. So let's see what random number generator picks for us. Go to random number generator. We have 35 shades in here, right? Okay, record. Okay, so the first shade that came up is number five. So I'm just gonna go from one to, what do we have? Three, four, five, one to seven, then eight to 14 and so on. So number five would be my transition color and we have one, two, three, four, five. We have this beautiful, this beautiful baby right here. It's gonna be number five. Okay, so number 18 would be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So number 18 is this dark kind of purpley burgundy shade there. So my lid color is going to be this nice kind of tan color here. Lower lash line is number 33. Let's see what that is. Well, 35, so... Oh, that's not bad. My lower lash line is going to be this deep, dark color here. My inner corner is going to be this beautiful brown right here. <laughs> okay, so that'll be interesting. Number five for my transition was this pretty shimmer shade here. I'll top that off. This shouldn't take too long because... I don't have to choose anything. And we all know shimmer shades are the perfect shade for our transitions. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, my crease was number 18, which was that darker shimmery berry shade. Was that 14, 15, 16, 17? Yes, this one. Tap it off. Again, we'll put that in the inner corner a bit, deepen it up. Was I saying put it in my outer corner, deepen it up? That's what I mean. Every time I tap, do this. I think of Kristen in her one video and things that annoy her. And I'm like, should I edit that out? No. Okay, what was the lid? Number two, which was like this camel brown color. So pretty. Perfect transition color, but we're going to put it all over our lid. You see what we have so far? This is just the crease and the transition. Now we're going in with the lid. Oh, yeah, beautiful. 
matches my skin almost when I blend it out. Oh, and we're getting some fallout. Tap it off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to build this up a lot to make it look half decent. Now, lower lash line, we have number 33, which was that really dark um, purpley brown color. We'll see. The last thing we have to do is the piece de resistance, and that would be the inner corner. And we have shade number four, which is a beautiful deep brown, medium tone brown. And I brought down this brush, and I don't think I want to use this for my inner corner because I always use this for my inner corner, and I don't feel like washing it, so we're going to use a different brush. Um, you know, we'll use this one for my inner corner because it's not, I don't mind that getting dirty. Okay, we're going to really tap this off because let's see how this works. Oh, yeah. Wow. In my experience, nothing is as beautiful as a dark inner corner. Like, this just screams well-rested, don't you think? <laughs> this is the look we're all going for, yes? We all want to look like we have dark circles because concealer is not trying to cover this up at all. Beautiful. You know what chaos bingo challenge thingy that I'm doing? This was going really well until shade number five. Get rid of the O. Just do B-I-N-G. Bing. You want to look like you haven't slept. If you want to look like you're part of the Adams family. If you want to look like you got a black eye or something. Although this looks kind of... That looks freaky. Like I look angry and weird. Oh my goodness. And this, people, is the finished look. This is the chance you take when you do a palette bingo my way. You have no choices. You are going to put the color where it says you're going to put the color. So it all went well until number five, and we got that dark brown, medium brown, keep calling it dark, in the inner corner. Isn't this pretty? Let's zoom out so we don't scare children in case they walk in the room. Okay, that was fine. I enjoyed that. It took the guesswork out and creativity out of it completely. Um, again, I've never, <laughs> I have never done a palette bingo before and for whatever reason I thought that this would be fun to do and you know what it was? It was nice and quick. It took the guesswork out of it completely and it worked. So um, next time I will do a regular palette bingo but I can't say we won't see another palette bingo chaos show up on this channel because I had fun and you never know what you're going to get and like I said this went really well until we got to the fifth color um and then yes welcome to the Adams family what did you think of all the shades that I was picked it was, it was pretty tame for me I think I think the colors all worked really well even the brown in my inner corner works well just not the placement of it so had I gotten this on a regular palette bingo <laughs> It would have been a lot different, but I think I could have worked with it. All the colors work nicely together. It's just the placement, which is kind of the fun of it. So I had fun doing it. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.